But let's get to the point here. The point of the graph is what I'm about to read to you guys. And I, I sort of, I went off on that. So I'm going to get right to the point here, okay? So this guy explains it so well on this post. These aren't my words. It's to the credit of Singa Singa, a guy on Reddit. And but he explains it so well, and I have to share this to you guys. Uh, not everyone goes on this page, so let's just get started. So he says, my understanding is not 100%. So do not take this advice. I've invested in GRT based on my understanding, which is right here below. And this is kind of, it puts my thoughts in better words than I can even articulate them. So in order to be an indexer on the network at GRT, you need to have a stake or you need to invest in GRT. In order for curators to signal the most valuable information, they need to invest in GRT. In order to search and then be able to query the API for any information, the end user needs to pay in GRT. So indexers only get a return on their stake. If end users use and pay for searching and using APIs, or they call them subgraphs, that created that are created, you guessed it, in GRT. So to participate in providing or getting any information on the blockchain, you need to invest or pay in GRT. GRT thus not only has an investment value, that says the whole price. It's only at about a dollar right now. I think it's going to go up pretty significantly in the long future. I'll get to that at the end of this video. So GRT is not only an investment, signaling value, and transactional value, which is actually a very unique combination if you think about that. That it's an investment it's a signal value and transactional. It can be used as a currency also. As, that's the one thing people need to get uh, used to about these cryptos is not all of them are like used for currency, just bang to bang, like pay to pay. Like it's not always for that. They have very useful, blockchain is a very useful technology. And so it's kind of like gold, data, and money all at the same time because you can hold it and you don't need to have a ton and in order to do something very productive with it though, you need to have a lot of it. So now we'll get into the next part and you gotta think of it as an identification check. In the current world, we use, uh, we would get someone's passport, search on Google, how do I verify a passport? Uh, we use software that connects to the government database via an API to validate that passport and that match the name. And, and the reality is you're paying for a Google search indirectly by providing information and seeing paid advertisements. That's where uh, you are the product. You're like, why is this free? Well, you, they're making money off ads off you and off also selling your data. That's why they make a lot of money and it's kind of fishy, kind of sketchy. But then uh, you'd also pay for the software company, maybe a fee to cover their running costs by doing that. And finally, you pay the price that the government agency charges for querying the data via the API. So you pay for searching and finding the software, using the software, and querying the data via the API connected to the government database. The graph is going to take that care of searching and querying for the data, and not only on the blockchain, but on the blockchain, and they use GRT instead of fiat money. So the blockchain will be the foundation of web 2.0, web 3.0, whatever you want to call it. And however, all that information will be stored will be through blockchain. So you may think searching is not a big deal as Google makes it look so easy. But Google has spent decades and dec decades. I need to learn to talk better. It's OK. We're new to this. Well, I'll get better. And decades indexing and building a database for usable information. Think about it like this whole Google is like a library of like the last as far as back in history, like hundreds of years, as much as the last 20 years, all the state is just building and building and building. And in the world of blockchains, blockchain, this is just in its infancy. Other than extremely popular um, dApps, think of them as websites. We do not know what blockchain and dApps hold what information on them. In addition, how do we query information when we do not even know what information is out there? This is where graph comes in again. Um, if you guys are still following me here, it's a lot of information coming at you once at once. It took me reading this many times to understand it. 
And I just want you guys to understand it before you invest in something like this. You should never, ever invest in something that you do not understand. That, that's stupid. All right, so we'll get back to it. Uh, I might not even help you explain this. You might have to watch five more videos. I'm just trying to dumb it down the way that I understood it so you guys can understand it. And that, that's why I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys. And this is where Graph comes in. Um, when they call themselves the Google of blockchains, I need to learn to talk. I'm sorry, guys. You, they do themselves a disservice because it's really it's way more than that. Uh, Google was able to stand on its shoulders against giants such as Yahoo and all that, and some except some exceptions. But it's not the business of providing and curating APIs that can be used to further develop usable and beneficial DApps. Indexers store the location of the most valuable information and process that's querying of this information via APIs or what they call them as subgraphs. They charge a fee for this in GRT because they rely on curators to guide them the most useful information. Curators also earn fees for searches and querying. Delegators, or like people like me that just hold some GRT, um, they're like the GNT indexers and share a piece of the fees they earn. So like I'm holding this and I'm, I'm helping support the whole system. And basically when a fee happens, the, the price will change. And all of us holding these helps contribute to all the data that's being stored and being indexed and all that. Everyone holding is contributing to it. And you're like, what, what's in it for me for holding GRT? Well, the fact is, is when people are using this technology, they can use the ones you're holding, you can stake them. And basically you get paid for, you could say it's a risk, but like all investing is risky. And I don't think this is that risky. I think this is going to explode. Actually, I'm, I'm very excited about GRT and I, I'm watching it like a hawk. So to sum this up, there are economic incentives to participate and penalties if you misbehave or are inefficient as a indexer or a curator. So like you can get in trouble. They uh, minimize the risk by, um, to my understanding, is they will wipe certain tokens if if they feel that somebody's doing something wrong. And I don't fully grasp it. I'm just trying to help you guys understand, I guess, what I understand. Um, I'm still learning. So truth be told, the returns are minimal at this stage is only one subgraph has been indexed and processed through the network. So it's at a very low price and thus only a handful of queries are occurring. Um, furthermore, this is only happening on Ethereum black blockchain. Most of the queries are being processed by the graph itself centrally and not distributed uh, distributed yet. And this is in the process of moving to a distributed network because not a lot of people hold it yet. No one understands this. this is only two months old. Like it's it's going to get bigger as it gets exposed more. You can take a quiz right now on Coinbase and they will uh, give you some free GRT. That's actually how I found out about it. And there's just so many cryptos out there. I understand why it's so much to, to understand. And uh, so... Once it moves the process to being distributed to more networks, uh, the price of GRT could grow exponentially once all the subgraphs and queries move and stuff and they're all over the place. Kind of like the more people that adopt the technology, um, the more value that will be added to it and the more the price will go up. And there are a few downsides I'm about to talk about, but to give you context on the enormous potential of this is there are currently 10 billion monthly queries being carried by the graph centrally. And this has doubled in the last month since it's come out. What's going to happen even more is it gets more exposure. There's going to be a compound effect. It's going to explode. And for another comparison is insane is Google currently carries only about 4 billion queries a day. And this has been around for 20 years. And this one is already at 10 billion a month. So if you put uh, four times third, about 30 days in a month, 120 is about Google's monthly uh, queries. So we're already at almost 10% of Google. I, I'm saying we because I hold it too, I guess. I mean, I shouldn't say we, but so they're already at like one twelfth of what Google is as far as uh, the amount of queries happening a day. So that's a lot of progress for two months. It's going to get more exposure. I hope I help expose it. I hope this helped you guys understand a little bit more about it. 
Um, now I'm about to end this video, but one downside I'd like to end it with, it's not horrible and it just has to do with the price. It's not going to just shoot up in moon like any of the like Dogecoin and things like that. It's not going to do that yet soon. And that's just my prediction. And one of the reasons being is the way that they are distributing the coin is, in my opinion, not very good. I don't fully understand. I'm sure these geniuses, they're a lot smarter than I am. They understand what they're doing. So I, I trust them in the fact of why they're doing this. But basically, they're going to add more to the currency, the circulating supply by, if I'm right, about threefold. Like the supply is going to go up by 300% in the next, um, within like the next year or so. So it's going to be hard for the price to rise when there's so much circulating supply coming in. And I don't know how much it's going to go up, but right now it sits at about a dollar and it could go back down. It gives you a chance to buy more. But I think in the long term, if you were to be fully honest, like a final price prediction is like more of an idea of look what you're buying. Look at the value that you're buying. You're buying this insane potential of this software it's there's a risk to it but i think it's minimal that is going to be way more efficient than google at indexing data it's decentralized and it's just going to be way way bigger i think in the future who knows this this company could be bit not a company but this chain could be bigger than google in the future seriously i'm not even joking with you guys it's just it's so it's a great value Price prediction, I don't know. I, I don't know what the price per token is going to be because I don't know how many tokens there's going to be in the future. But I think overall the value of this blockchain, it could be more valuable than Google. So one of the most valuable companies in the world, um, I think this could beat that. So that's my price prediction. I don't know what it's going to be per token, but I think buying it at a dollar a token right now, that's pretty good. And I would love to come back to this video maybe a year from now, 10 years from now, who even knows what it'll be at. Um, this single investment I made myself, just a speculative investment could turn me into a millionaire. Who even knows? But I think it's worth it. I think you, before you invest, understand the value of it. Don't go investing it because I told you to. You might think I'm an idiot and I explained it bad and that's that's fine. I hope I didn't. Whatever, we'll see. But make sure you understand it first. And if you want to understand more about it, I would go on Reddit and go to their page about the graph. I would watch other YouTubers. People explain it better than me. I'm just enthusiastic about this crap and I want to expose it even more. Um, just one more channel talking about this stuff. So hopefully this will make us all rich. I highly recommend you guys look into this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.